On this week's episode, we're going to be teaching you how to make a killer meatloaf, and it won't let your meatloaf. We're going to be cooking on the Jim Bowie Green Mountain Grill and using some Lone Star BQ rubs. Live today, I'm going to be cooking on the Green Mountain Grills, uh, and uh, we're going to be smoking a meatloaf that has a red stag base for the meat. Now, I killed this red deer back in February of this year and we're still eating on it because I mean it is just a massive animal and it was a blast to go hunt down there in Kerrville. Uh, if you ever need a guide service down in the Kerrville area you just let me know I'll give you David's number and information and uh, he will hook you up. He's a great guide uh, but uh, we had a blast. If you want to see that video um, I will make sure to put a link to that at the end of this one. You can see that uh, that video there where we did that hunt. So today we're going to be cooking, like I said, on the Jim Bowie, the Green Mountain Grill, and uh, we're going to be making a meat loaf. Don't let your meat loaf. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Don't mind me, guys. Just trying to make a video here. Are you done? Are you done? So like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by somebody apparently having a house fire. <laughs> and uh, my dog being extra retarded. He's not sure if he's a hound dog or not. Um, but we do know that he's 100% potato. Anyways, make sure you like, you subscribe, you do all those good things. Stick around for that hunt at the end of the video when we went on the red deer hunt. But uh, also comment down below what you want to see me catch, clean, cook, or what you want to see me hunt, clean, cook, whatever you want. Uh, give me ideas. I know we're going to try to do a hog hunt in the next uh, couple months. Uh, we've got a couple of overlanding trips coming up as well. So we're going to throw out a few things to do with that as far as camping and cooking out there, barbecuing on the road, all that good jazz. So let me get this set up. Let me get the table laid out and show how to put this amazing, life-changing, don't let your meatloaf together. So we've got here our two pounds of ground red deer meat. Now this is 80-20. I had them mix this 80-20 at the butcher shop with beef fat um, just because I do, uh, I know that red deer is super lean, kind of like a, a, a moose or an elk. So you gotta, you gotta add some fat to it in order for it to be uh, really usable in a lot of applications. And then we've got a can of Rotel. We won't add that in quite yet. There's one can of Rotel, spicy, mild, whatever you like. And then I've got three tablespoons of Lone Star BQ SBG, SPG, here. And then I've got 20 crackers. These are like Ritz crackers, um, just the store brand because I'm broke. And then I've got two eggs beaten. Don't beat your meat, beat your eggs. And then we got some ketchup here that we will use. All right, so let's go ahead and get all this mixed up. We'll start with our dry ingredients to go together into the meat. And uh, we'll throw all that good stuff on there. You notice those granules, kind of thick granules in there. It's granulated garlic and onions inside that SPG. Uh, pretty awesome. And then take your crackers and start crumbling them up instead of bread crumbs. We won't add any more salt to this because these crackers are going to add a lot of salt. And you make them as coarse or as heavy uh, or as fine as you want. Whatever you like, it's yours to eat. And then I like to do kind of a rough mix. Get your hands in there, get them dirty. Do a rough mix of these dry ingredients before we start adding in anything wet. Probably a good, good, simple mix there. All right. So we're going to throw in, I like to drain these off a little bit. 
The only time you don't want your meat too moist is if it's meatloaf, uh, because then it won't stay together. So uh, remember, moist meat is good unless it's meatloaf, and it'll really make your meatloaf. Go ahead and mix that together. And now we're going to add our eggs. When we add our eggs, we're going to get both hands involved and really get up in there. I mix this pretty thoroughly just to make sure that there's no pockets of flavor here or there. You know, make sure it's just kind of an even, even consistency uh, throughout the whole loafing of the meat. And you see how moist this is uh, right now. So it's, it's fairly moist. So uh, we have to be careful when we put it on the smoker that uh, we don't, uh, don't put it directly on a grill. I always put it, if I had an actual loaf pan, I'd leave it in the loaf pan. But uh, what I'll do, and sometimes what I like to do is wrap it in saran wrap and, and freeze it. Uh, because then when you put it on the smoker, it won't fall apart. But uh, today what I'll do is put a piece of foil underneath it and make it look like a giant meatball and then we can go from there. So our Green Mountain Grills Jim Bowie is preheated to 300 degrees and uh, we just formed this little foil pot pan sort of thing and uh, stuck it right there in the middle. And so we're gonna let this cook for about 30, 45 minutes at 300 degrees and then I'm going to come and put a little bit of ketchup on top, not a whole lot, but just a little bit of ketchup on top and check internal, te internal temperature. From there, we're gonna check it every 15 or so minutes. Uh, until the internal temperature is at 155 degrees. We'll put a little more ketchup on top, add a little bit of that garlic, butter, pepper dust on top of that ketchup, and let it set in for about five, 10 minutes, and it'll be ready to slice and enjoy. Stick around. So we are about a half hour in and uh, 300 degrees and so uh, you saw that little close-up, that little B-roll that I showed. It didn't really have the whole lot of bark that I like on it. So it's been at 300 degrees for about a half hour. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up to about 350 uh, for the next 15, 20 minutes and let that crust kind of get over the top of it so that we can continue on. It's been another 20 minutes or so, and so let's check on our meat. If it's set up the way I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and stick a probe in it and uh, always probe your moist meat. And uh, it does, it looks like it's pretty well set up. Take a look at it. Looks like it's pretty well set up. So I think it's time for us to go ahead and throw a probe in our meat and uh, go ahead and baste her down with a little bit of catsup. It has been another 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and check on this after we got it basted down with a little bit of catsup. And man, it is baked in really well. Take a look at it. I'm gonna hit it with another layer of ketchup for the final 15 minutes and let it sink in. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Put a little uh, garlic, butter, pepper dust on it. Let that sit into that new layer of ketchup and it'll be ready to slice and enjoy.
guys. So this meatloaf has been on for the last 15 minutes. It has a second glade of catsup, and we're gonna go ahead and pull it off and see what it looks like. It's got an internal temperature of about 155, 157, so I know that it's done. Oh man, she looks very nice. Very nice. She's got a great color. She's real glazed up from that uh, those two glazes of the catsup. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna throw her down right chill. And uh, we're gonna open this bad boy up, open up our pan, and uh, we're gonna take her off of there. This is the Lone Star BQ Garlic Butter Pepper Dust. Um, and I'm gonna just sprinkle this on top before we, uh, before we uh, start slicing it because it's nice and warm. And when it's hot, it's got to, it can melt into it and kind of reconstitute a little bit. That granulated uh, butter and all that good stuff will reconstitute. And be like just putting butter on top. It's good stuff. And I like it a little bit heavy. Y'all don't have to do it heavy. You do what you like, all right? All right, so this is looking amazing. That granulated butter and garlic and all that good stuff is blending back into that top coat. Let's go ahead and take a slice out of it, and then we'll test the taste. Can I help you? Twice now in this video. Twice. I don't know who's so inconsiderate to be calling 911 while I'm filming. I am 911! Anyways, let's go ahead and taste this. Uh, it's pretty tender. It's got a little smoke ring on it. It's like a beefcake. Literally a beefcake. So I don't know if I'm going to start calling them beefcakes or meatloaves, but. Immediately, you get a kick of garlic, sweetness of the ketchup, savoriness of the mix. That's good. That's the best meatloaf that you'll ever eat. It won't let your meatloaf. Make sure you stick around. You pay attention to when we release our Lone Star BQ rubs so you can get some of your own. And remember, at the end of this week, we're going to be drawing for our Ammo Can Grill giveaway. One of you is going to be lucky enough to win one. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, you share, you tell your friends, hide your kids, hide your wife, all that good stuff. Go make you some meatloaf. We'll let your meatloaf. On this week's video, I'm going to teach you how to cook a killer meatloaf on the Green Mountain Grill Jim Bowie and using some Lone Star BQ rubs in the spice, in the mix, spice, spices in the mix. On this week's episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a killer meatloaf that won't make your meatloaf. We're going to be using some Lone Star BQ <laughs> On this week's episode, we're going to be teaching you how to make a killer meatloaf that you won't ever want to cook a different way. <laughs>